Hello friends. Today we are going to discuss about uh, a very important special science that is vision. Let's go for the contents that we are going to discuss about that. So we will study about the introduction that means what is vision actually is. Then the structure of the human eye that means without which we cannot see. Then retinal layers we all know that retina is a very important part of the eye and it has got 10 layers. So we will know about the name of the layers and what are the different types of layers are. Then rod and cone cells we know that there are two very important cells in our uh, eye rod and cone which helps in our day and the night vision. Then we go for the visual pathway some references for your further study and at last you have to test yourself that how far you have learned from this video. So let's start. So visual perception is the ability to interpret the surrounding environment using light in the visible spectrum reflected by the objects in the environment. That means whatever present in the environment light falls on that and uh, our eye helps to capture that reflection and uh, by the way of the visual pathway it helps us to see the object. That means without the presence of the eye it is not possible for us to see whatever we have in our environment. So eye is a sense organ for the vision without the eye we cannot see. The human visual system perceives visible light in the range of the wavelength between 370 to 730 nanometers. Please remember this. So what is that? 370 to 3, 730 nanometers. That is the range of the wavelength that our visual system can perceive. So this is the structure of the human eye. So first of all the sclera, it is the outermost layer. You can see this is sclera, outermost layer of the human eye and it helps to form the eyeball. So this is the what is the shape of the eyeball that is that is a round shape that is formed by the sclera. Next comes the choroid layer. So choroid layer is the middle layer contains many blood vessels. We know that each and every organ of our body they contain the blood vessels not only for the uh, supply of the nutrients but also for the supply of the uh, oxygen which is very much important for the proper functioning of the cell. So choroid is that layer in case of the eye. Next comes the retina. It contains the photoreceptors. Photo means which is related to the eye. Receptor means which receive the photo. That means which receive the light. Rods and the cone cells that convert the light rays into the electrical impulses so that we can see the object. Next is a vitreous chamber. You can see it's a very large chamber which is totally filled by a fluid which gives the shape of the eye that is called the vitreous humor. Now the fovea centralis. This is the fovea centralis. This is the spot of the fovea centralis. It's at the center of the retina, contains most of the cone cells. Please remember, contains most of the cone cells, not the rod cells. Blind spot. So this is the blind spot. It is the point where no vision is possible due to absence of the photoreceptors. So we have to remember that, that in the whole human eye, there is one particular point which is called the blind spot. Due to the uh, absence of the photoreceptors there, uh, no vision is possible in the blind spot. Next, the optic nerve, which is the most important one, it transmits the electrical impulses from the retina to the brain. Next, uh, we again have conjunctiva. So here is the conjunctiva. It's a membrane inside the eyelid attached to the sclera. You can see this is sclera and here it is attached, conjunctiva. Next comes the cornea. So this is the cornea. You can see. It is the transparent surface covering iris and pupil through it light enters into the eye. So it is the gateway of the uh, light into the eye. If there is a defect in the cornea, the light will not enter into the eye into the acquired amount. Now the aqueous chamber. So this is the aqueous chamber. This one is the aqueous chamber. It contains the aqueous humor fluid which maintains the shape of the cornea. 
provide nutrients to the eye and involved in the waste management also so it's also very much important next the ciliary body here comes the ciliary body you can see it's a band of muscle that helps in changing the shape of the lens while focusing that means if uh, some uh, uh, bus number or something we have to see from a very far or very very distance we uh, squeeze our eye so at that time the ciliary body helps us sorry helps us uh, to focus the eye properly then comes the lenses it is a crystalline structure that focus the light onto the retina so through the cornea light enters and lens focus the light to the retina layer iris here is iris you can see here iris it's a point it controls the diameter of the pupil that how far the pupil will be stretched pupil changes size as the amount of the light changes okay so it depends upon the amount of the light so this is the retina layer which is a very important layer uh, of our eye so this is how it actually looks like and this is if you want to draw it in your exam copy so you can draw it like that so from the outermost region to the innermost region pigmented epithelium so this is the pigmented epithelium how it looks like and if you draw this so this tight junctions of the external retinal barrier you can see these are the tight junctions this red boxes second layer is inner and outer segments of rods and cones the most important layer because without this photoreceptors we cannot see so how it looks like actually in the human eye and how you will draw this third coming the outer limiting membrane which limits the uh, layer of the rods and cones then comes the outer uh, nuclear layer this part then comes the outer plexiform layer very much flexible inner nuclear layer so this is the outer layer this is the inner layer then inner plexiform layer then comes the ganglion cell layer you can see that this ganglion we, you know that the ganglion helps us to transmit the signals uh, into the uh, nervous system then comes the nerve fibers layer axons of the ganglion cells then inner limiting membrane so this is the 10 layers of the retina so pigmented epithelium inner and outer segments of rods and cones then outer limiting membrane outer nuclear layer outer plexiform layer inner nuclear layer inner plexiform layer ganglion cell layer nerve fibers layer then inner limiting membrane now rods and cones these two are the very important photoreceptors so this is how the rod looks like and it's how the cone looks like so if we compare both have mitochondria both have nuclei both have synaptic endings so this is the inner segment and this is called the disc portion so we know that uh, rod contains the rhodopsin and uh, this uh, cone are of three types that is the blue red and green three type of cone cells are there here the green cone cell is depicted so rod helps in the nighttime vision and cone helps in the daytime vision here comes the visual pathway so this the light enters into the retina then it stimulates the rod and the cone cells and then it gets to the optic nerve from there it comes to the optic chiasma from there it enters into the optic tract and from there it comes the lateral geniculate body at the lateral geniculate body the most important thing happens that the information is separated organized and layered to different areas of the visual cortex for the perception the different zones of the visual cortex process the different aspects of the vision means what is the size what is the shape what is the color of the object like that and then the image is perceived the visual cortex is also known as area 17 so these are the references for your further study so now you have to test yourself there are a few questions are given you have to give the answer by yourself and you have to you can cross check it also so thank you very much for patience listening please don't forget to subscribe my channel Please keep in touch for more videos on uh, physiology, hematology and your related subject. And this uh, video is continued to part 2 where we will discuss about the different diseases of the eye. So thank you very much. So long. Bye bye.